Welcome to our math lesson on money this week. We're going to be starting a new unit on learning all about different kinds of coins and bills, and I'm really excited because money is so interesting to learn about. And I hope you find it interesting too. To start off, our first lesson is going to be about pennies and nickels. Pennies are worth one cent. They're made from zinc with a copper coating, which gives them this coppery color. And on the front of the penny is Abraham Lincoln. He was the 16th president of the United States. On the back of the newest design of pennies is this lovely little shield here. And it says one cent. Now some of the older pennies you'll find have this building on them. I don't know if you can see this building. But this building is the Lincoln Memorial, and it was designed to honor Abraham Lincoln for all that he did. That's a penny, and it's worth one cent. This is a nickel. Nickels are worth five cents. On the front of the nickel, you'll see Thomas Jefferson. He was also a United States president. On the back of the nickel is this building. And that is called Monticello. And Thomas Jefferson actually designed and redesigned this building many times, and he lived there. On the newest design of the nickel, you'll see that they changed uh, Thomas Jefferson's face and made it a little more modern looking. But no matter which one you get on the back, it will tell you that it's worth five cents in very tiny writing. So a nickel is worth five cents. Now, I wanna show you a way to count pennies and nickels, and you'll see how I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be using our bead bars from school. If you don't have bead bars, you can make little tags with a, a number one on it, or you can use Legos, red, red little Legos to help you, or even uh, pony beads from like a craft store would be perfect. When we count pennies, we count them by ones. One, two, three, four, five. And I could even put out my beads or my Legos or whatever you have at home that's red and helps you to remember. I could also put out my little number, my little number signs I made out of an index card to help me. Each of these pennies is worth one cent. So when I count, I count by ones. One, two, three, four, five. I have five cents here. Now, when I count my nickels, it's a little different because remember, nickels are five cents. Now, I always, uh, another thing I want you to notice is the thinness and the thickness of these coins. Nickels are a lot thicker than pennies. Maybe that'll help you to think that nickels are worth more too. It's bigger than a penny and thicker than a penny. This is five cents, five. I could do the same thing with my bead bars. I could say this is five. And this is worth five. And this one is worth five. And this one is worth five. Now, if you don't have bead bars at home or um, other small items, you could just write little tags like I did on an index card with a number five on it to help you to remember that each of these coins is worth five cents. So when I count my nickels, I count by fives, just like we used to do at school with the bead bars and the bead chains. Five, 10, 15, 20. I will count by fives. If you forgot how to count by fives, you can also try to add things into in your head, which will take longer, but it'll still work out for you. And watch what I mean. I can say this is five plus five is 10. And 10 plus 5, let me see, hmm, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
20 cents. Or I could skip count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 20 cents. That's how I count by fives. Now, I want to show you this really cool thing about pennies and nickels. Are you ready? If I take five pennies, one, two, three, four, I have five pennies. I'm just going to make sure I, I'm, I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five. Five pennies. Okay. Five pennies is equal to one nickel. Isn't that neat? So if you needed something, if you needed to buy something that was five cents, you could use five pennies or you could use one nickel because one nickel is five, right? And I can put my card down to help me remember. Uh, I could also put down my cards for my pennies One, two, three, four, five is the same as five cents. So I could use five pennies or one nickel. That is a really cool thing I wanted to show you today, that they're actually the same. So if you didn't have five cents laying around your house, you could go and get five pennies instead. For your follow-up work this week, I would love to see you doing some skip counting by fives and counting by ones using pennies and nickels in your house. Next time we meet, I'm going to show you how to add more money together. Bye for now.